Happy New Year! And we would like to start uh, this new year with the model of CSML of landing gear uh, in connection to the uh, landing gear model of the physics of uh, in the Modelica on the 3D Experience platform plus the 3D CAD uh, of the model working together. And uh, with the simulation, we can actually check uh, that requirements uh, uh, for the gear retraction are satisfied uh, based on the physics model uh, plus integrated 3D CAD model. So uh, this is achieved uh, using uh, FMI interface, functional, functional mockup interface, which works uh, as a server client connector. Check another video and the link uh, for this interface explanation. It's out of the box available and allows us to connect any FMI uh, tools together. As we can see here, it connects the 3D Experience platform with the Modelica language, Daimola models running, uh, representing 3D CAD, uh, also 3D CAD from the CATIA, uh, working with the physics and CSML model in the loop. In the second part of this video, we will see how this physics model is made, how the uh, 3D CAD model is used in that, uh, auto-generating the model and uh, we'll switch to the next video in a second. Here we see how animation is updated. The model we use for describing the physical behavior of the landing gear is uh, to be found in this block and this is a rather complex uh, multi-body uh, model which includes each and every uh, body, uh, rigid body of the of the landing gear system, uh, with uh, well-defined uh, joints uh, connected uh, to each other, and also it uh, gives us the possibility to uh, manipulate or actuate uh, some of the uh, joints by using external. Um, external components uh, connected to the to these flanges uh, like we did uh, in case of the hydraulic unit which uh, drives the opening and retracting of the landing gear these um, components uh, describe the 3D uh, properties of uh, these uh, various components of the landing gear and also they include uh, proper 3D uh, representation of the of these components so that we can uh, use them later on for animation and as one can see here uh, there are a lot of uh, parameters uh, which needs to be defined to to be able to use these models and to be uh, realistic uh, with these models which uh, would be a very uh, big uh, task to do manually but luckily in the um, uh, platform we have the option to generate such a model completely automatically out of uh, 3D geometry. So I'm going to show the details uh, here. In this uh, tab I already have a model, a 3D physical model of the of the landing gear. Uh, this is uh, the model itself and it is not just a simple uh, CAD model but uh, we also have uh, all the joints and uh, actuators um, modeled uh, so that it um, it is a completely defined mechanism as well um, we also have uh, the option to manipulate some of these joints uh, with the comments here After double clicking the comments, we will have uh, the mechanism player um, open, and here with these sliders, we can uh, we can play around with the defined actuators. Uh, so here we can see uh, the main uh, cylinder is uh, moved here uh, back and forth, and so we can we can uh, um, 
we can create the movement of the closing and opening of the of the whole uh, landing gear and we also have uh, another um, um, actuator which moves uh, just the wheel uh, suspension so here we have uh, the the complete uh, mechanism and uh, before we can go uh, go on to the generation of the model econ model uh, a very important thing is to uh, check if all the masses of this model is uh, properly defined which can be done in the uh, business intelligence essential essentials um, when opening the tool we can here select uh, from the list the weight definition and here the only thing uh, matters from our point of view is that basically everything is uh, either declared or computed but we don't have any incomplete or missing um, part so this means we can go on because uh, we can make sure we can be sure that uh, with the automatic generation of the model income model we will have a proper mass definition for each and every component so when that that is uh, clarified we can go back to our um, dbm interface and here in the behavior tools uh, we have the option generate from kinematic if we click on this a very simple uh, user interface pops up where we can um, define an arbitrary name and we should uh, select where we want to have this model and I already prepared a separate uh, library for this and we can also select the mechanism we can just simply navigate back to our uh, 3d representation and click on the mechanism itself we have in the more uh, some additional uh, options but in this case uh, we're just going to use the default setup and by clicking OK uh, the model is going to be generated in a bit when the generation is done we will end up with uh, the models in the selected output uh, library and uh, we will have two models one is uh, put in the internal generated um, package this is the 1d multibody representation of our our uh, mechanism uh, with all the components uh, defined with uh, the geometries and all the initial parameters and masses and uh, this model is basically uh, protected uh, one so we cannot modify anything uh, on this one but uh, there is also the other model which is the very same model but it is uh, extended from the uh, protected model so if we look into the um, modelica text of uh, this one it's uh, just a simple extension of the protected model but this one uh, can be already uh, modified for example in case of this joint we can uh, modify it so that we have an external flange like so where we can uh, manipulate uh, or actu actuate the flange from outside with uh, external components this way we can add um, any kind of uh, modification to this uh, model while the uh, originally generated model is kept intact in the uh, protected uh, version of it and this will always reflect the uh, original model because uh, we always keep a link to the original geometry so that if we uh, if we decide to for example update uh, some of the masses or uh, geometric parameters of the original model 
uh, we can uh, bring these updates back to the uh, model model by a simple update function.